what is going on all of you growers and smokers out there easy breezy here coming back with a video today guys it's going to be on pressure cooking versus pasteurization but first before we get into the video let's go ahead and go through some patreon shout outs so of course patreon shout outs to michelle travis winnie alex r mojo and gabrielle dale and of course all the other ones you see on screen right now and if you want to join our patreon uh squad here for as little as a dollar a month, you can always go to the link below. There's tons of links down in the description. Uh, and go ahead and do that. Uh, let's try to get 100 likes on this video. If we could do that, that'd be very awesome. With that, let's get into the video. Pressure cooking is the process of cooking food at high pressure, employing water or water-based cooking liquid in a sealed vessel known as a pressure cooker. High pressure limits boiling and permits cooking temperatures well above 100 degrees Celsius or 210 degrees Fahrenheit to be reached. Pressure cookers at 15 PSI boils water at around 250 degrees and that is just the definition I got from Wikipedia there. Uh, so of course that's going to ask us uh, what about pasteurization? What is pasteurization? pasteurization sorry guys so that's typically between about 160 to 180 degrees um, for about an hour and uh, if you heat up the water anymore you actually risk killing good bacteria the good bacteria will defend the substrate from uh, bad bacteria like molds and stuff like that whereas the uh, the pressure cooker will actually kill all the uh, all the all the bacteria good and bad it'll kill it all and let's uh, let's go on and and talk a little more about uh, about that stuff so uh, when you pressure cook so pressure cooking should be used for more uh, nutrient based substrates uh, uh, so things like brown rice uh, agar whole grain stuff that can be contaminated pretty easily by bacteria where uh, just a little bacteria that survived could could grow very rapidly in these high nutrient-based substrates. And pressure cooking will eliminate all bacteria, so there's zero chance that any bacteria can survive, good or bad. And um, so that's, that's pretty much why you should use pressure cooking. Um, well, not why, but... Um, why you do use pressure cooking as opposed to pasteurization. Um, I've seen a, a comment or two about stuff like this. Actually, I see a whole comment thread where people were fighting about it. And uh, so I just wanted to say that. So why would you use pasteurization then? So pasteurization is more commonly used for bulk substrates. So that's like your cocoa choir and your straw. Um, the nutrients in these bulk substrates are usually very small, um, so the bad bacteria will have trouble surviving and will die out before any damage can be done. So, uh, the good bacteria will survive actually in the uh, pasteurization process, um, and the bad ones will survive too to an extent. Uh, some of the more hardier bacteria will survive, but typically, if any bacteria starts growing, um, the good bacteria will just overwhelm it and the mycelium too will just overwhelm it because it can't grow fast enough because it's not a lot and not a lot of uh, nutrients in there for the bacteria to survive um, and there's other ways you can sterilize your substrate too so it's not just you know you're not you don't only have two methods um, so you have things like uh, hydrogen peroxide cold incubation dry heat pasteurization and you can use uh, the oven method too and I think the oven method is just pretty much a uh, another form of dry pasteurization uh, I could be wrong about that but that's a separate video for another day so this is something that I could talk about forever like in live streams and stuff like that I could sit here and I could debate back and forth you know if pasteurization is better or if uh, pressure cooking is better and in the end, it really all depends on what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to, say, uh, sterilize 15 pounds of substrate or 10 pounds of substrate, 
that's going to be pretty hard to do in a pressure cooker. Um, not only is it going to take you forever, uh, considering it takes about 90 minutes to sterilize in a pressure cooker, but it's also going to, uh, it's going to take forever. Uh, that's, I guess that's the end result of that. Um, because you can only fit maybe a few pounds in the jars, maybe, and, uh, it's just not going to be as uh, as easy as it would be pasteurizing. A pasteurizing, you can put all 15 pounds in a bucket, uh, dump some boiling water, or not boiling water, but very hot water. You don't want it to boil because that will kill also the, the good bacteria. Um, and just like that, within 60 minutes, you know, it, it's all done. And you can go ahead and uh, start uh, inoculating that. And again, that's going to be a, another video. Sorry if my mic keeps cutting in and out here. Um, that'll be another video for another time, of course, when we do the pasteurization. Uh, so this is just a little quick video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let's try to get, um, we'll say, uh, 100 likes on this video. That's going to be a goal. And... Um, I guess that's going to end this video. If you like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on growing, keep on smoking, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.